G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now I'm a big fan of the add shortcut to OneDrive option in SharePoint document libraries. It has many benefits, but we also have the option to sync um, the document library to your particular computer. Now the add shortcut to OneDrive uh, option does give us many benefits. Uh, it provides um, access across multiple devices. So when you're syncing and you use the sync option, it ties that sync or that uh, uh, those files to that particular computer. Whereas if you're using add shortcut to OneDrive, it allows you to then log into OneDrive on any device uh, and you have access to that, that shortcut and uh, ability to then interact with those files. Um, and it is persistent across those devices as well. And it, it is accessible through the browser, through the app and any device that you log into. So in this video, I'm gonna show you two ways in which you can help uh, the the onboarding or the, the change management process and educate users to use this ad shortcut to OneDrive by removing the sync button. So I'm gonna show you two ways in which we can do that. Before we do jump in, just a quick message from today's video sponsor, and that is my brand new course, SharePoint and Copilot Mastery. Now, it is a real world modern approach to learning both SharePoint and Copilot, and we are open for early access, and also you'll gain the Founders Pass for just $297. Uh, you will learn modern SharePoint and Copilot strategies that actually do work in the real world. So no marketing fluff or anything like that. They're real lessons, not textbook lessons, but uh, experiences from implementing SharePoint and more recently Copilot across many organizations. Now, I've just launched and just created two new modules for Copilot agents that I'm about to hit publish on, building Copilot agents in SharePoint and also developing autonomous agents with Copilot Studio. So as we can see, there's nine sections so far, 40 lessons, and this is going to continue to grow. So if you uh, wanna learn uh, SharePoint and Copilot in a new modern way, uh, then head over to danielanderson.io forward slash course, make use of the early access and founders pass and I look forward to seeing you in there. So we can see here I'm in a SharePoint team site. Now we can do this at, on a library by library basis, okay? So I'm in a the, just the stock standard do, default documents library. Now if we go into the library settings here and there's an option um, that we can turn off uh, which is under um, advanced settings here where we can choose to turn off um, the search and offline availability. So if I scroll up a little bit, offline client availability. So what this option does, allow items from this document library to be downloaded to offline clients. So by default, it's set to yes. But if I flick that across to no, then and click okay, then what you'll see is in this document library now, we don't have that sync button. But if we go to another document library, policies and procedures, for example, you can see that I do have that document lib uh, that uh, sync button in this document library. I'll jump back to documents, but it's not there. And I only have the add shortcut to OneDrive. So that's one way, but that's on a library by library basis. And that bit would become quite tedious if your users are creating multiple document libraries in their SharePoint sites. What might be better is if we do this at the uh, at the site level. So if I go up to my settings and I go to site information, and then if I go to view all site settings, and I've under the search option here, I've got search and offline availability. And I'll jump into this at the site level. And here we've got that same setting, but at the higher level. And this would apply to all the libraries in this site. So if I go to allow items for this site to be downloaded to offline clients, I'll flick that across to no and click okay. Now that's going to apply to all the existing document libraries. So if I go to policies and procedures, you can see that has now uh, been removed. But if I now create a new document library, so I'll go new document library, we'll just choose a blank one. Uh, we'll go, can I sync? And I'll create this one. And let's have a look and see if we get that sync button now on our new document libraries. So you can see there, 
brand new library, no sync button. Um, so now we've been able to remove that at the site level as well. All right, now there is another approach that we could do also, and that is via PowerShell. So we could do this in a scripting way as well. So I'm gonna to turn to Copilot. Let's see if we can write a PowerShell script uh, to remove that sync button uh, at the site level uh, using Copilot. All right, so here we are in BizChat. I'm on the web tab. Let's see if we can write a PowerShell script to do the same thing. So I'm gonna paste in this prompt. Can you please write a PowerShell script using PMP that will set the client offline availability to no in a SharePoint online document library? Let's see what Copilot comes back with. So hopefully we're gonna get a script that we can run and we will be good to go. So we can see here, we're getting the site URL, uh, we're getting a document library name, we're passing those into two variables here. We're connecting to the SharePoint online site, we're getting the document library from this variable. And then what we're doing is we're setting this with this uh, exclude from offline client to true. What that's doing for us is basically flicking that switch where we had the radio button in in the user interface there, and that will set that at the library level. Um, now, let's see if we can do the same thing. Um, can you now please um, set, uh, write a, script, a PowerShell script uh, using PNP that will do the same thing, but at the site level. And let's see what we get back, all right? So again, hopefully this is a little bit different. We're not doing that at the library level, but now we're doing this at the site level. So we can see here, we've got our parameters, we're passing in our site, we're connecting to that site, we're getting the web, uh, and then what we're doing, we're setting that, but this time not at the library level, but at the site collection level there as well. So there we go. Two ways in which we can uh, disable that sync button at the library level, but also at the site collection level as well. So I hope that brings you some value today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.